nigga's fucking dirt up. Hey, yo, where the fuck Kwani at, yo? Kwani, where the fuck Hey, like, the street niggas can vouch for me. Anywhere I go, nobody don't play with me. I never got robbed. I never got touched, shot at in the city yet. Police say a 25-year-old man was killed after being shot in the chest and hand, yo. but they are still working to find where the shooting happened. What happened to gangsters moving silence? Like a lasagna. Okay, 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 what's the vibes, YouTube? It's your boy Swaggy G coming at y'all with another reaction vid. So look, whether y'all just got out of work and y'all just clocked out, boss been getting on your nerves, or you just got out of school, you trying to get back into the swing of things, but your teacher over here already bugging out, your classmates still stinking up the hallways, just chill, gang. I already found some fire videos for the day. All y'all gotta do for me is smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, man. Don't be petty. It don't cost nothing to join the fam. Smash that subscribe button, join the fam, and let's tap in and see what's going on for the day. Man, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of EOS. It's 1090 Jake, and I'm rocking with y'all. Y'all rocking with me. And for this video, we're gonna be speaking on Philly rapper YBC Duel, and unfortunately, how he was killed. 24 hours after bragging about being untouchable. Fucking tombstone, who think it's fucking dirt up? Hey, yo, where the fuck Kwani at, yo? Kwani, what? Where the fuck no, 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 Bro, that better not be a real gravesite. After bragging about being untouchable. Fucking tombstone, who think it's fucking dirt up? Hey, yo, where the fuck Kwani at, yo? Kwani, where the fuck you at? Ah! That's a disrespect for go fuck who you is, I will disrespect you. I saw a documentary about you that said you're the most hated rapper in Philadelphia. Is that Cap? You Not know that yet, ain't bro. no fucking bluff. I like that shit. They hate me, that Both mean they like me, or they do much. something. Like, feel me, like, they you're paying attention. Feel something. They, yeah, they paying attention, and I make them feel some type of way. So if I can make you feel some type of way, I'm gonna keep making you feel some type of way. Like, real niggas fuck with me. Like, the street niggas can vouch for me. Anywhere I go, nobody don't play with me. I never got robbed. I never got touched, shot at in the city yet. Police say a 25-year-old man was killed after being shot in the chest and hand, Yo. but they are still working to find where the shooting happened. Sources it's ID him as much. Abdul Vix, a rapper known as YBC Duel, affiliated with the West Philly. What happened to gangsters moving silence? Like a lasagna. Yeah, here, Wayne. Niggas ain't lasagna no more. Philadelphia Young Bag Chasers or YBC Gang. Friday, August 23rd, 2024, police responded to the 5500 block of North 6th Street in North Philly just after 3.30 p.m. They'd locate a white SUV with multiple bullet holes, but no body. A nearby hospital would report a 25-year-old gunshot victim. He'd been shot multiple times to the chest and hand, driven to the hospital by a friend, and pronounced dead 25 minutes later. It wouldn't take long for word to spread that Philly rapper YBC Duel, aka Mr. Disrespectful, just got killed. Viral for all the wrong reasons, Duel lived up to his name and wouldn't disappoint, as any time he was on camera he continuously dissed the dead in the worst ways possible. Only a day before he was killed, YouTuber Brandon Buckingham would drop a documentary style video titled The Most Hated Rapper in Philly. Brandon would cover Duel's original story, his ties to the Young Bag Chasers or YBC gang, and how murder and violence transformed Abdul Vix into Mr. Disrespectful. Now Brandon would drag nuts through the trenches of Philly as he clearly risked his life vlogging with the city's top op in the most nonchalant way. The prospect of possibly getting shot just walking around make you He's nervous crazy at all? Or what's your too. thoughts on it? I ain't gonna lie, bro. You should be nervous, though, bro, because walking with me, a bad job. A week before the documentary dropped, Duel would drop a song called Mick Buckingham featuring Brandon. The comment section would seemingly agree Brandon just became YBC after Duel dissed a shitload of people on the song. But even the title of the song is a diss in itself. Listening to Duel on No Jumper, Adam would ask about all the fast food and McDonald's references. My last question, why are you always dumping out french fries? 
Because like niggas shouldn't be working at McDonald's. They should they should have worked at Chick Fil A or Wendy's or something like. That's more high class. Like McDonald's a bad job. Everybody go to McDonald's. Like you should he should have worked there. So you had an enemy who got killed he working there worked. or he leaving should, there or something. He should have worked at Qdoba or some somewhere where it wasn't a drive through. It's somewhere where it wasn't <laughs> killed up in the <laughs> drive through. Imagine you at work, you work in a drive through and niggas come and air it out. Yo, bro, what are we doing right now? Like, what? But some, somewhere where it wasn't a drive through. It's somewhere where it wasn't. He should have worked somewhere where it wasn't a drive through. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> and he thought this shit funny. Come Yo, to find out, 22 year old Zaire Stafford was gunned down in December of 2023 by an elementary school. Zaire, who went by the name Booga, was the brother of CCK rapper Sani Goon. Booga would be killed walking distance from a McDonald's he allegedly worked at, hence the McDonald's dissing. But oh. Duel would take it a step further, dropping a song titled Mick Buttons and Mick Nuggets. The song would be the most demonic McDonald's commercial ever filmed, with Duel saying, Reddit would pretty much piece together the murder after all the clues Duel left, a legend Booga got off work and got killed walking home. But this wasn't a made up conspiracy, Duel dropped McButtons and McNuggets part 2 and the opening line of the song was, Duel would continue to troll Booga's death making multiple videos ordering Ooga Booga sauce. Now let me tell you, I'm sorry, I gotta stop it right here, cause that that man was at McDonald's, it don't matter what job he was at, he was trying to get some money, you feel me? Now y'all ran down and y'all killed him. Did that change y'all situation? Did that make y'all some money? Did that change the way your family living? Did that change the way you living, bro? Hell no, you just speaking on how you killed somebody. And it's just crazy because that's what people want to hear nowadays. Like, it don't make sense. It don't make sense at all. Like, a hustler got killed and he's uh, the killer bragging on it. And now the killer getting lit. I'll never get that system. I'll never get the way that shit go, man. Honey mustard, barbecue sauce, and sour. I want the, I want the Ooga Booga sauce. I bet y'all won't take that order. <laughs> you know what the Ooga Booga sauce is? You wanna know I won't take your order to get out my drive through Y'all got the ooga booga? So while Brandon was doing nothing more than his job, documenting an infamous Philly rapper, Duel would name the song Mick Buckingham, once again making another McDonald's reference, dissing Booga. But this wasn't the worst thing Duel had done by far. He posted to his Instagram story a video of a CCK member named Quay in a casket, and for obvious reasons, I won't be showing the video on YouTube. 22 year old Quadir Cheeks was ambushed in West Philly when four men jumped out of a car, firing a total of 43 times, shooting him only 12. YBC is allegedly responsible for killing multiple members of CCK, and they'd remind them by shooting C's in their videos. After Quay died, even Redditors were telling CCK to throw in the white flag. See, the war in Philly is nothing more than a game to the ones on Reddit, as 132 people actually voted on what they thought would happen next. They got scoreboards and polls on online? Make a bet, CCK versus YBC war. Yo, it's real people dying, yo. Hey, y'all treating this like a, a parlay? Next, nah. With Duel being killed, getting the least amount of votes. Nah. Only a month ago, Duel dropped Long Live Jeffrey Dahmer, featuring Chicago rapper Lil Scoom and Lil Jeff. 21-year-old Lil Jeff was killed June 8th after attempting to murder someone and getting killed himself. 18-year-old Lil Scoom was murdered July 7th and his shooter would fire at the police, successfully getting away. Duel would drop the song on July 20th, but the fact that he was in a video with two ghosts wasn't enough to keep him from following the same path. 
All three rappers would be murdered within three months. Duel's death was enough for Chicago's Lil Reese to make comment, and Philly's own Meek Mill would also speak up and again speaking on the dead. But blood makes any war too far gone, as Duel's ops have already started dissing, and it isn't hard to imagine why. Now, as respectfully as I can say this, what you put out is what you get in return. When Julio Fulio died, it wasn't really a surprise. It was just like, it's a matter of time damn, it finally caught up to him. With Duel, it's like, pfft. yeah, you know, it's hard to feel sympathetic for people when they kind of wish it upon themselves. You have people that go to war, whether in the streets, the military, whatever, and they just humbly, you know, do what they do. And then you have people that take it a step further. I think what happened with Duel is, like other people, he found a lot of attention from the crazier shit that he did. And what comes with that is, okay, well, I gotta do more shit. This is getting me way more views, way more publicity. I'm Mr. Disrespectful in a deadly city and I haven't been touched. And if I just keep standing on this, the fans is just gonna grow and grow. And that's how he looks at it. This is my road to success. But at the same time, like every street, it goes two ways. Ahead of him was success. Behind him was something else. And to be honest with you, it seemed like he was driving in the other direction. He dug himself an early grave through his actions. And he's not the only one doing this. And I mean, we see this happen all the time, even with Lil Jeff. Lil Jeff allegedly killed how many people? They said, what, 10, 11? Like, this kid was 21 years old getting busy. To the point that that's pretty much all he was known for. His biggest song was after two kids got shot at a school and died on camera. So it's like, how do songs what like you that put pop? out like, is what you receive. And why is that the most? I'm not gonna act like a whole bunch of motherfuckers in Philly ain't about to go crazy over this shit. Everybody pretty much knows that. Just hopefully, some of y'all will get the bigger picture. And hopefully some of y'all will stop acting like shit's a game, voting on Reddit for who the fuck you think is going to win the war and making bets on what you think is going to happen next. But let me know y'all's thoughts and comments in the comment section. I do want to... Man, this is crazy, man. We really do got to stop jacking all this just because he killed somebody. Real rap talk, this, that. Like, bro, it get deeper than this stuff, bro. It get deeper than rap, man. People gonna replay these songs, listen to it, dance to it, whatever, bro. But it's real life situations going. It's real life people that miss somebody, lost somebody, and want to do something for somebody. You feel me? Like, you can't keep doing all this negativity and jacking all this negativity, man. But look, let me know what y'all think about it in the comments, man. It's your boy Swag and I'm out, you heard?